All right, folks, we're going to hop right into the game. And as you can see, a little bit of cheekiness already getting set up here out of BC. So without further ado, in the bottom right corner of the map, he just tied up the Series 1-1. Oops, this is, it says TLO down there. Let's fix that. Uh, it's going to be the pink Terran player, BC Cutie. Don't forget a, a stranger proxy. Is it a two rack? Uh, this must be Reapers, I would imagine, because it's a three racks in Legacy with the economy you have. I know he's more than that at the moment. It's funny here in the top left. He's up. Or no, he was up. Now tied up. It's going to be the red Zerg player, Liquid's TLO. Sitting here on uh, Terraform. Anyways, uh, so yeah, double double racks. We don't, we don't see a lot of cheese in this manner. We see cheesy all-ins. We see gross stuff, but... We don't normally see two raxes, three raxes anymore. So this is kind of funny. Kind of, we'll see how it plays out. People asking for what the partouf bets are. I'm sorry, I forgot to go over that. Guys, we got 13,188 partoofs bet on BCQD and a little uh, a little over 10K on TLO. In fact, 10.5K to be precise. But Reapers are going to be problematic because TLO's opted to go for a very fast third. Now, he didn't go three hatch before pool. That would have been pretty much game over, I'd say. But uh, the Queens are going to struggle here. We saw how much damage this did last game, and that might be why BC felt inspired to try and pull it off in this game. Okay, it's a best of five, and I really think, even with Legacy Tactics, you should still throw in some cheese once in a while. And I like that BC's done this. We'll see just how much this can get done, though. Anyways, uh, if if Meta Word is in chat, I fucking hate you. Meta Word says Rifkin is a vampire. I'm reading some of these donation messages on the website. Y'all totally suck. Oh, nice block with that Reaper. Body blocks out that build cancel for the spine crawler. Because uh, let's not forget. Oh, another one gets denied here too. Tilo losing out on a lot of time. This sounds silly, but those two spines getting denied like that are huge. He's gonna try and send these two links across the map, hoping to intercept or bring the other Reapers back home and. Looks like splitting and chasing, is going to do exactly what he needs to do and distract Beastie and buy some time. Now these links aren't going to do a lot of damage. There's a supply depot well, for goodness sake. And even if there wasn't, even if they were down, it's two links. SCVs could deal with it. But still, Beastie wanted to make sure he didn't have to deal with secret weird proxies or something. But he knows about the third. He knows about what's going on defending. Two queens on these front lines are trying to pick off the Reapers. But of course, they're going to be able to regenerate that health once combat drugs kicks in. Uh, Queen's also going to be getting transfused as this time builds up here as well. Meanwhile, TLO at this third? Huh. Not going to be able to use this anytime soon. Uh, Reaper grenades do damage buildings. It's 10 damage a shot, so it's going to help out with the actual Reaper DPS, which in itself is quite effective. <laughs> Apparently you guys wrecked the donation link, by the way, so hardcore. Oh, that kills Larva? I had no idea. I'm going to make sure to make a mental note of that. I guess it is a spell and not a physical attack. Anyway, sorry. Apparently the donation link has been maxed out. They're, they're, the alleged word is that they're making more, guys. I don't think they expected people to hop on the hype train so hardcore. So hopefully we'll get that stuff set up. But all of you have been donating to the website or using the promo codes. You're fucking awesome. And thank you for helping max out this show match. But back at home, uh, a link attack goes on. BC's going to have to repair a little bit. He doesn't have anything here to defend with just yet. Factory's on the way, but he has to build a Hellion still. Uh, he kills TLO's third, though. That's impressive. That's going to be very nice for him. Uh, still sitting on 27 SCVs at home. He's got his own orbital command center set up for his natural as soon as he's ready to take it. The racks are floating back as well. It looks like killing the third was enough for Beastie. He's going to completely withdraw, deal with these lings, and try and secure his own natural base. This puts him, I wouldn't say monstrously far ahead in the game, but look at the resources lost. Look at how good that puts off for Beastie. The downside is, though, while in other situations you would see you'd have Marines, you'd have Hellions, you'd have something a little more viable than Reapers following this up. But because it is just Reapers, these are not that strong when it comes to fighting. And honestly, might struggle to deal with this many lings. Uh, yeah, he's going to throw in some grenades if he wants to kite these around forever. Oh, shot's going to go off. Grenades are fantastic at dealing with this. Reapers have a lot of damage themselves too, but uh, gets good positioning. Hides against the back of the wall. Doesn't get surrounded. TLL loses a lot of these lings that were meant to do a lot of counterattack damage and stop that natural base. 
but the Reapers are dealing with this rather effectively, and TLO just can't can't keep up with that uh, mobility. So, looking to dive into the natural base, realizing, okay, the Reapers are right here, though. This could be a problem. Goes for the surround, tries to get some of these Reapers. Moving towards that mineral line, TLO just can't quite get on top of BC. One Reaper goes down. Siege Tank is finally out. More links flooding in, and that's the thing. It's a big link flood. TLO's not making drones anymore. He says, I lost my third. It's time to go all in. Queens are walking to the front line. Those, uh, those, uh, those ladies gonna help pick off some of these Reapers as well. If they get here, another Reaper goes down. BC's starting to lose a lot of his own defense. Ling's gonna surround on the tank. This wasn't Siege Tank. Medivac coming in, doesn't quite pick it up in time. New Siege Tank here on the ramp gonna be picked up. But unfortunately, Queens will help shoot down the Medivac? Question mark? Huh. Well, this is... <laughs> This is working out surprisingly well for TLO. He's, he's pushing back some of the workers, but he doesn't have high ground vision, so these queens are kind of stuck. Uh, Transfuse! Stop! Ah! This is one of the queens. Bailey's here as well, looking to hit some SCVs, maybe bust down that depot wall. Uh, once the Overlord gets here, there'll be some high ground vision to shoot back some of those tanks, but really not a lot to do right now other than deny the natural the base. Now, did he get a layer while this went on? No. So no creep gonna come down. But the nice mining. Tank's gonna come up here just a little bit. Banelings do get focused down, though. Nice shots out of BC. Intentionally made sure to shoot all the Banelings. Uh, this for Tilo might be a little overdedicated at this point. Tilo is down workers still. Trying to make up his drones. He's double expanding. But, man, he gave away a lot for this. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. BC's got a third CC. He's gonna be able to drop mules. Drop the hammer. Um, tank should be able to chase these queens down as well. Yeah, it's gonna tap out. I think it does. Uh, that G is working out really well for BC, and game number three gonna go in his favor, giving him a 2 1 lead now in the series. Alright, so we have some news on the promo codes getting fixed, guys. Uh, they. They said, okay, so they had they had a set amount of code set up for this. So they didn't expect this to blow up, and they want to just keep that hype train rolling. All right, so Little Heart is good. Like, okay, this was a promo code set up to be used for Hearts series. Here's what's happening, because they, they don't have time. Like, it, it's, it's going to take time, right? Um, BC's also going to take a small break, so we might hit up some more ads. But to explain really quick... Even though it's not Heart's turn to play yet, you're going to use little promo code Little Heart to give Beastie and TLO money. And then we're going to have a brand new promo code set up for Heart and such afterwards. So, <laughs> so what's going to happen here, guys, is, is I know this sounds crazy. If you use promo code Little Heart, that's not going to give money to TLO and Heart. It's going to give it money to TLO and Beastie. And they're going to create a brand new code for Hearts match after this. Because they didn't expect this to run out so quickly, I guess. So, um, they said...